Hello and welcome to Gang Thai News of Gang Thai Radio and Television Station. Here are today's headlines. National online conference summarizing work of ensuring traffic order and safety in 2023 and implementing task in 2024. National online conference summarizing medical work in 2023 by the Ministry of Health. National online conference summarizing the party internal affairs work in 2023 in directions and task of for 2024. Top news today, Deputy Prime Minister Zheng Lu Wang, the chairman of the National Traffic Safety Committee, on the morning of January 9, chaired a national online conference summarizing the work of ensuring traffic order and safety in 2023 and implementing task in 2024. Over the course of 2023, 770,000 infractions that were the primary causes of traffic accidents were sternly dealt with by local authorities through constant inspections. Funds have also been invested by cities and provinces throughout the nation to get rid of traffic hotspots and black spots. With the theme respecting the law to build a safe traffic culture, Deputy Prime Minister Zheng Lu Guang has asked ministries, branches, and localities to implement properly the 2024 Traffic Safety Year Plan. Examine and address probable accident sites and black spots as soon as possible to improve the efficient management of transportation-related business operations. The functional forces need to set up their patrols and controls, managing everything with strictness, no forbidden areas, no leeway for breaking traffic laws. Also on the morning of January 9, the Ministry of Health organized a national online conference summarizing medical work in 2023. Deputy Prime Minister Le Min Kai attended and directed the conference. The Ministry of Health has advised and promptly issued documents to remove obstacles to licensing and obtaining licenses for the import and distribution of medications, vaccination, supplies, and medical equipment. Deputy Prime Minister Le Min Kai suggested that the entire health sector keep up pushing for the development and improvement of the systems, institutions, and health policies, bringing new ideas to the health financing system, establishing a plan to accurately and comprehensively determine the cost of medical services, address the issues of the lack of medications, supply and medical equipment, in addition to continuing to streamline, efficiently and effectively arrange the organizational structure of the unit, completely and swiftly respond to vaccinations. On the morning of January 10, the National Online Conference summarizing the party internal affair works and activity of the steering committee for preventing and combating corruption and negativity at the provincial levels in 2023, direction and task in 2024 took place. In 2023, the Central Committee of Internal Affairs oversaw and worked with agencies to conduct research, create seven projects and submit over 100 reports and major guidelines and policies on judicial reform, anti-corruption and internal affairs to the Politburo and Secretariat, to thoroughly and quickly concretize guidelines and policies on internal affairs, combat corruption and bad activities, and judicial reform, the province and the city party committees' internal affairs committees have advised the party committees to release approximately 2,760 documents. More than 500 cases have been forwarded by authorities across all levels of investigating agencies for review and management. The internal affairs committees of the provincial party committee and the city party committee have proactively coordinated and provided advice on presenting 260 cases of serious and sophisticated corruption and public concern to the provincial steering committee for oversight and direction. On the afternoon of January 9, the vietnam cuba Friendship Association collaborated with Gang Thơ City Union of Friendship Organization, held a meeting to celebrate the 65th anniversary of the National Day of the Republic of Cuba, January 1, 1959, January 1, 2024. 
Significant turning points in the two nations' bilateral ties were reached in 2023, the 60th anniversary of Cuba's founding of the Committee for Solidarity with South Vietnam, commemorating the 70th anniversary of the attack on the Moncada Barracks. Gunther is one of the cities that consistently worked to fortify and improve links with Cuba and Cuban communities, and actively engages in a variety of targeted and useful cooperative initiatives. The Union of Friendship Organizations and the city's Vietnam-Cuba Friendship Association always have all the necessary resources to effectively carry out their roles thanks to the efforts of the City People's Committee. The solidarity between the people of the two countries, between the Communist Party and the government of Vietnam, and the Communist Party and government of Cuba, is becoming increasingly stronger. On the morning of January 9, leaders of the city departments of industry and trade and businesses attended the online discussion, Long-Term Solutions for Rice Export, organized by Ngoi Lao Đồng Newspaper. Gunther City Department of Industry and Trade commented, success in exporting is a result of objective conditions, even though there are many benefits. Most businesses currently struggle to obtain credit capital, particularly working cash. Many companies are not directly connected to agricultural production areas and have not constructed raw material areas. Gunther asked the state bank to keep pushing lending institutions to focus on capital sources, grow and raise credit ceilings to quickly provide the rice industry with the money it needs at terms and interest rates that are acceptable, physical, flexibly apply loan security, keep refining lending practices to help firms get credit capital, at the same time encourage the adoption of strategies to help businesses get over obstacles. On the morning of January 10, Gunther City Retirement Club organized a conference to summarize their activities in 2023. The club added 81 new members in 2023, increasing its total membership to 1,127. It also honored and expressed gratitude to 17 members who became 80 years old and arranged visit to the former school in the spirit of unity Frequent entertainment and health promoting events are held for members, including table tennis clubs, chess clubs, traditional music, amateur sing alongs, and eight three clubs. The state named three of its comrades meritorious artists. Compassionate care work is always prioritized, with members who are ill or experiencing family issues receiving rapid visits and encouragement. Also on the morning of January 10, the Gangta City Oriental Medicine Association summarized the association activities in 2023. Last year, the association focused on providing care and protecting people's health, seeing approximately 400,000 patients, of whom over 300,000 received free examinations and treatment. The association handled its assigned task well. In addition, they host training sessions in traditional medicine open basic traditional medicine workshop, etc. The association objectives for 2024 are to organize training and fostering for members, promote the role of organizing, uniting and defending members' lawful rights and interests, and engage in initiatives and programs that support regional social economic development. On the afternoon of January 9, Vice Chairman of Gangta City People's Committee, Mr. Nguyen Ngoc Hae, and leaders of the Department of Industry and Trade and the City Market Management Department surveyed the preparation of TED goods on some supermarkets in the cities. Mr. Nguyen Ngoc Hae highly appreciated the preparation of goods by businesses. To support consumers, it is advised that units launch several consumer stimulant initiatives and offer steep product discounts to provide workers and rural areas with high quality vietnamese dead goods distributors should also work with the industry and trade center mass organizations and city departments they should also create programs that link tourism and shopping offer experiential learning opportunities to students and more so that consumers can have a wide selection of affordable high quality safe and entertaining products to start a new year
Coming up next is the weather forecast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.